Welcome back to another furniture transformation. In this video, we are going to be working on this large dresser slash buffet. We are going to modernize it by removing these half moon flower appliques as well as squaring off the bottom. In general, this dresser is in great shape and if you know, and if you've been watching my videos, you know I really like to complicate things. So because this is a beautiful dresser we are going to cause a little bit of damage to it in order to make it even more modern and here you can see it was fun to remove those appliques which didn't want to budge for a while the next thing i am going to do is remove the outdated hardware my client picked out a very modern silver hardware to go on here The new hardware has a different width and I simply filled in all of the holes as well as any little scratches and damage that uh, there was. I just used a simple wood filler that I sanded back. I will have a list of products in the description of everything that I used. A lot of the paint and products will be from my website doveandarrowshop.com and I do ship uh, Canada and US wide as well as there's a little coupon code in the description if you'd like to apply it towards your first purchase. All of the proceeds go towards supporting my small business. And if you recall, this dress didn't have much damage to it. It was in pretty good shape. I caused quite a bit of damage, but I filled in everything with wood filler, sanded it back, cleaned it off, and it was time for my favorite combo. I started out with the Wise Owl Stain Eliminating Primer in gray. This primer is great to even out the surface because I have used wood filler, I have removed bits, it was important to get the surface all even and ready for painting and this way I wouldn't have to worry about any bleed through or anything else. Also this primer comes in four colors and I really like it for that especially because it comes in a dark gray for dark colors. In hand sight I probably should have used a dark gray because I am going with a darker color but I had this can open and might as well finish it off. Standard practice for me is to apply two coats of primer and leave it to dry uh, overnight. I really like to leave primers overnight so that all of the blocking properties can really activate. It doesn't matter if it, it is this Wise Owl primer or a shellac based primer and so forth. Something to note, if you're using Wise Owl products, you cannot use shellac based primers or anything like that underneath them. It's important that with Wise Owl, you use their primer if it's required and if the paint requires an additional top coat, you use it Wise Owl products as well. So this paint is a little bit finicky in that regard, but uh, all of the primers and top coats are amazing and they work really great. I really enjoy custom work because uh, sometimes I get to use colors that I would have never used uh, on my own. For example, in my last video you saw me use a really nice pink color and in this video we are going to use a blue color by wise owl one hour enamel called inkwell it's a nice rich dark blue which um i personally would have never used it and it was great to actually put it on this dresser and now i'm going to paint a couple more pieces because i really liked uh, this color it was completely out of my comfort zone And I'm using it in combination with those Style Meester rollers, which I'll link below. They are incredible. They are the smoothest rollers you'll ever use. 
whoever I recommend this to never goes back to a diff any other roller and uh, I just love them I can't spray this piece because I am working in the back of our store and using the style me Sue roller will allow me to get that super smooth brush stroke free finish as well as the paint self levels beautifully so between the roller and the paint the finish will be super smooth if you've learned a little something during this video i'd love it if you subscribe to the channel i am really happy how this little channel is growing and the community that we're building i love reading your comments with all of your suggestions of how to improve things and ideas and if you can hit that notification button you'll be notified every time i upload a video I have some great little shorts planned where we tackle uh, a bit of uh, the backup of projects that I have in the back room of my store and so forth. So subscribing will be fun. I love to have you as part of our community as well as liking this video really helps get um, more eyes on it. So I really appreciate all of your support. And you can see how beautiful that shine was and the perfect finish that you can just get with the roller here I am applying a little bit of the wise owl furniture solve onto the, the runners of the drawers they were quite dry and this will really help them glide and move much easier and it's just as simple as just applying it to the runners and just moving the drawers back and forth a couple of times you can see how the wood is quite dry and this really really helps it because we're applying new hardware to this dresser, I had to drill new holes. I just simply measured and re-drilled them. The other thing I had to fix was the length of the screws in the back. They were very short. There was very little room on the drawer. So I had these adjustable screws, which are a lifesaver because you can actually get the screw to be any length. The other trick will be if your screw's too long, you can always use a little washer. But with these screws, I could just cut them to the right size. It took a little bit of effort, but it worked out. Let's take a moment to remember what this dresser looked like before. It needed a little bit of an update. It had a little bit of appliques that were outdated. The base needed to be squared off for a more modern look. And here we go. Let's see what... I really, really like this Inkwell color by Wise Owl One Hour Enamel. It's unexpected, but it's beautiful. The silver hardware really modernized the piece. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback.